boy mouse man and we are back with another project for you guys um thank you for watching yesterday's video thank you to all the new subscribers man we are on the road to 3k subscribers i feel like we should hit 3k subscribers by the end of next week but if you're watching this video man just simply pause it and hit that subscribe and turn that notification bell on man because reduced car audio stuff man and good work out here not good i'm not gonna say we do good good work or the best work man we just put in a little bit of work for you guys to sit back kick back and relax and watch man so we are back once again with uh working on my boys green obs truck um titty panel speaker pod um real quick let me drop a clip of the guy's motor so you guys can see what it's what it's looking like man As you can see man it's got a 6.0 in it um the whole thing's modified you see what i'm saying um it's got a cam in it you know built transmission you know the works and it's actually sitting on intro wheels um i've their billets uh the the, the finish on but they're intro wheels i don't know which ones they are but they look badass 22s but for today's video so we actually have another um speaker pod slash titty panel that we're going to be doing and I have six inch rings. So I'm gonna need another set of rings for that one. So the plan for today to show you guys is how I can duplicate two rings so they can look perfect um, with a nice, you know, laser cut finish type stuff. Um, we're gonna be using my jigsaw today. Definitely flush router bit. And then this is the roundover bit that we're gonna need after to give it uh, our staple line, our piece of wood, our rings. Uh, staple gun maybe DA we'll see uh, the grinder and the blower those are all the tools that we need just to cut out these speaker rings so they can look fabulous will they look fabulous at the end I hope so because I mean you never know what could anything could happen but we're gonna try to make it work and of course we need some flatheads because we need to pry them apart I was using like inch and a quarter staples to brand nail stuff down but I actually got see what I do with them I actually got one inch staples this time because we just need to hold them in place they're not gonna be held in forever so we just need them to get them hold in place for a little bit then it'll be a lot easier for us to prime on so there's not that many gouge marks on it if if you guys have watched our previous videos you know the way we like to flush out here is we like to um, draw our circle then we come back and we cut just a tad bit inside it so it's not perfect um, just so the router doesn't have to use that much have to do that much work so it's just a barely a barely cut that it has to do but it, our router does the job because we give it less work that it has to do um, then we're just gonna come back trace it out um, leave it stapled on the piece of wood cut it out almost you know dead on with it like not dead on but same thing a little bit over it and then you know we come through and we router it again to give us a perfect ring then we on um, then we pry it off then we grind off the staples and you know the little hump sided leaves and everything and then we're gonna round over it with the round over bit man so we have a lot of work to do today but not that much time because it is supposed to rain it's just florida for you let me let me actually look to see what the weather is looking like so actually it moved back it said it's supposed to rain at 4 p.m and earlier it said it was gonna rain at one o'clock and it's like 10 32 so you know we like to drop these daily videos man we drop daily videos for you guys to sit back and watch man our rings are gonna go right there we're just gonna space them out a little bit and i like cutting on my table saw because it opens up and you know we have a little area to work on so we can set a base on it so what we're gonna actually do trace this guy out and trace this guy out and then we may just even do this right here and trace this guy out just so we know where it sits. Oh, move. But no biggie because it's not that on, it just needs to sit. You can see it like my table saw, it has an opening right here, so we may actually even open it up a little bit more. I think that should be good. Drop it. And what we're gonna actually do is we have our drill, and we're just gonna drill inside here. Our jigsaw in there. Same thing as well here. Bam, done. 
and now let's go ahead and cut this inner hole out first um, like I said we're not going to cut up against the line we're just going to cut like a tad bit over it so the router works less when we uh, run the router through it You see how that you know um, is a little bit over not that much and it's not on the line that's just enough so when we run the router in it it just cuts that out like nothing so let's cut this guy out now and look you check that out man that's a pretty good cut right there I mean, we could come back and even cut this guy a little bit more, but that should be pretty good. Why? See this big boy router right here, man? We have big plans for this guy right here, man. Um, stay tuned. And after we get done routering our rings out, I'm going to explain to you what we have going on with this guy right here. Because this is going to be a game, a game changer for our channel. It's going to get us to perfect a lot more cuts. Um, it's going to make sure that our work's a little bit more on point. And like I said, man, you know, we're getting more into these builds with detail. So we really need to start stepping our game up and make sure everything's A1, man. So when we're ready to play with the big boys, man, we have all our woodwork skills, man, like A1, like I always say, man. So now let's get to um, stapling these uh, rings onto the piece of wood. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to staple these rings on here. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the piece of wood upside down so it doesn't have like the... Well, it's not going to have the staple bump because the staple is not even going to go through it. So we should be good. So let's go ahead and staple this guy. And get it somewhat lined up and it don't have to be all the way lined up. Okay. Okay. There's these two good staples. Same thing with this guy right here. Now we're going to change our roundover bit to our flush routing bit. Because we need a flushing... Bam. no bit flush router there we go screw it and tighten her up so you want look you see right there so you want that bearing just to like slide over your bottom piece that you're trying to get routed out perfect and let the blade do all the working because if you put the the bearing all the way towards the bottom you're going to take a chance and shave the what you're trying to router off of um, shape you see what I'm saying you only want it just to slightly glide over the piece that you want to get routered onto the other piece of wood so it it gives you like the good like replicate um, piece that you're trying to do and I always never every time I mess with the router I always leave it unplugged man because like I said I've seen a lot of crazy stuff with these routers go down and the last thing I want to do is mess my fingers up or you know any accidents so now this is a matter of plugging the router in and routering out these holes. Just like that, we got perfect holes. Look at that. Dead on the money, man. I couldn't ask for anything better. Go ahead and drill a hole. Our rings are somewhat cut out, man. They look horrible, but now they're gonna look really badass. Look at this. So now let's router them out.
perfect rings, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty badass. Look. So now let's go ahead and pry them off. Check it out. It's so easy to pry them off, like I can even just stick my little flathead inside here. Bam. And out of here. And we just gotta grind down that staple right there, and then we should be good. And we're not gonna router, put the round over bit just yet because we still gotta cut um, tweeter rings, but we're gonna do that on tomorrow's video. Now, let me clean up real quick, and I'm gonna explain to you what we got going on with this big boy router. We still got so much to do, you know, so much, you know, work to, needs to get done and improvement. And, you know, we're taking one step at a time. And with that, you know, that's what the big boy router here is for. I actually found this guy in my attic. I, it still works. Um, but you see, it has the trigger where, like, when you push it down, that's what activates the router. So what I'm actually going to do, once upon a time, I actually did have a router table. But it was made out of, like, laminate board. And I think I let it sit out one day. I actually let it sit out a few times because I would have all my stuff outside. Um, and like the moisture, um, fog, and all that stuff, you know, slowly started eating up the wood. And then one day um, I went to go router some stuff out and it just like collapsed. It was sitting like this and it just collapsed. Build me a nice router table. So I'm going to do like two by fours on every corner. Um, then a piece of uh, plywood on top. And then I'm going to get a piece of plexiglass and do like a center cut out so the router can sit inside it. And then so we can actually screw the plexiglass in through here to hold the router in place and do like a bottom on it so the router never moves. Cut this trigger out and put it like on a toggle switch. So when we actually connect it to the wall, uh, we can have a toggle switch on and off. So then we can like actually, you know, sit here and do real nice rings. Um, every speaker hole gets cut out perfect. Every corner gets, you know, cut out perfect. Everything, you know, perfect lines from here on out. Um, and I'm going to get this done before I actually start working on my truck. So the truck has a bunch of, you know, nice curves, perfect curves, straight lines and everything. Because the more and more I think about stuff, you know, the more I want to be a little bit more creative. And, you know, try to stand out from other builds. And, you know, like I said, we got this lifted truck car audio show coming up man i need to give the wow factor out there because uh, some of the subscribers said that they are going to go out there so i have to give them a good impression let them see good work and most of all man have every system beaten you see what i'm saying beaten has to look good and it has to jams you know that's no matter what you know what i'm saying i always say i don't build my cars for competition um they're just street jammers but at the same time man, they need to do what they need to do that's what speakers are made for amps are made for everything for them to jam and hit solid numbers man so we are going to step it up and get a router table. We're going to make sure every single car that I take out there um, that I've worked on is on point and sounds dead on. And we're going to meter everything to see what it does. My trailblazer, I wish I could take it, but I'm going to start tearing that thing down because I'm going to slowly start working on it again because it's going to get a makeover. It's going to stay black, but it's going to get all red. But everything's going to be like nice. I'm just going to do like probably like two 15s, but nicer 15s. And, you know, just to make sure that it gives more bass you know probably put ak on it so it's jamming but we're gonna do something different with that guy but we're concentrating on the silverado build so that thing is a thousand percent and with this guy right here is gonna help us get a thousand percent that we need so everybody loves that truck and it is loud let's check out our rings real quick look remember i said like you see that has that little small gap and i can round them over but it's probably still not gonna fit so what i'm actually gonna do after we get done fiberglass them into the pod, I'm gonna get like a sandpaper Dremel and Dremel it out so it leaves the same, it's the same structure of a nice like round over. Because if anybody ever pulls that speaker out, um, it looks good at the same time. Doesn't look like someone just bit it off or cut it with a knife. You know, say so we need to make everything look good from now on, guys, and we're going to. Wood rings, man, got done perfect. I could probably sit here and make a stack of them. And they'll probably sell them or give them away to you guys. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys want some rings, man. I can make you guys some badass rings so all of you guys work with perfect. So that's it for today, guys, man. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, man. We got these rings cut out. I am still brainstorming because I want to make this titty panel slash speaker pod look badass. Different from all the other ones that we've seen. And we're going to try to do some 3D stuff, man. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and um, catch a quick shower. Edit this video, 
drop it for you guys and read you guys' comments, man. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow, man. Peace. Jose Gomez, get at me, man. Get at me. Comment in the video or DM me on Instagram. Peace.